What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Pearl Jam. Yes, indeed. Pearl Jam fans, failing you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Thistlestock. And Thistlestock wanted to see me react to this song by Pearl Jam called Satan's Bed. Now, have I heard the song before? No. <laughs> Come on now. Seriously? Uh, no, I, I would know if I heard a song called Satan's Bed from Pearl Jam of all bands. No, I I am like 99.999999% sure that I have not heard this song before. However, there is always that 0.0000001% chance that I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I, I, I have heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Pearl Jam, okay? And the video has 141,574 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Satan's Bed Remastered. Looks like we're coming back to the Vitology album. Okay, I, I've had some good experiences with this album, so I'm looking forward to this. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. So they're playing the root. Ba -bum. Not a B. What is that? Is that A sharp? No, it's an A. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty simple riff. I mean, it's nothing all that complex, but it's kind of nice hearing that, that major third against the minor seven. You know, it's it's not something you hear all the time. It's it, it's nice to hear it, though. And then the resolution. Da, 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 da. And then to the five, to the seven, to the one again. Ba, da, da, da. You know, or, 
BB5, set, minor 7, major 7. I think, it, are they really doing that progression? Da, 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 da. Huh. I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm mishearing it. Hold on. I might be mishearing it. But, so far, so good. I, I'm liking the feel of the song. It has kind of a, I don't know if I would say punk, like, like CBGB's punk, but like, I don't know, Ramones maybe, or, or, uh, not early Black Flag, like Henry Rollins' Black Flag, but maybe, maybe later Black Flag or, uh, later Misfits, like Michael Gray's Misfits, uh, type of feel to it. A little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, let's keep going for now. I, I want to get lock in on that riff. So they are going to the five. They're just going to the five in a weird place. Right? That it's the pickup right before the next downbeat was where they go to the five. Interesting. So So root major seven, minor seven, five one. You know. <laughs> That's cool. It's a it's a cool riff. It's a really cool riff. Um, the chorus is not, the chorus sounds like it's in five four, which is interesting considering the fact that the main riff and the verses are in four four. Not unusual. I mean, it's not like it's never happened before. I've heard other bands do it, but I mean, it's it's a little unusual for Pearl Jam to do it. That's all. They're a little. They're usually a little more straight ahead, especially with a song that has this type of a feel. So for them to go into that five four. Uh, feet in that 5 4 time signature for the chorus is a little off, it's a little weird, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. I just, I just wasn't expecting it. Um, we got about a minute to go, let's finish this out and uh, we'll talk about it. Toms in the background. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Um, it was cool. It, it was cool. I, I don't know if they, I would say this is one of their stronger songs by a stretch, but I mean, it was it was a cool, fun little tune. Um, we'll talk about it in the review. There's not there's not going to be a whole lot to talk about this song, but uh, we we will discuss it briefly uh, in the review. I'll see you there.
Well, there you go, folks. That was Pearl Jam with Satan's Bed. Uh, this was a request from Thistlestock. Okay, before I give my score, let me just explain really quickly what's going on here. Uh, we're trying something a little bit new, a little different format for the channel. Uh, I was speaking to a couple of friends of mine, and they watch the show. They, they enjoy the channel. They love everything I do. They did have a little bit of constructive criticism for me. Uh, they did say that my reviews have a tendency to go on a little bit too long, which as a result makes the videos too long and not quite as appealing. So they suggested to help uh, keep me on track and to help keep me from rambling and going back and repeating myself and beating a dead horse, which I'll be the first to admit I, I'm very guilty of. I'm not going to lie about it. I, I do. I absolutely do. So they suggested to help keep me on track uh, and keep me on point, stay focused. Uh, I should give myself a time limit. And that's what this is right here. This is set to five minutes. It's a five minute timer. I start, it starts counting down. I got five minutes to do my review. That's it, okay? This is gonna help me stay focused. It's gonna help me stay on point and it's gonna help me keep on track so I don't ramble and I don't keep coming back to the same things that I just said two minutes prior. So hopefully this does the job. I will start the countdown when I say, let me tell you why. And you know what I'm talking about. If you've been watching the channel, you know what I'm saying. All right, first things first though, let me give the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 7.6. Yep, 7.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, let's get to it. Um, there really isn't a whole lot. I'm, I'm not even going to need five minutes for this, honestly. I am only going to need about three, probably. Um, this song felt good. It, it, it felt good. There was nothing about this song that felt bad. There was nothing about this song that sounded bad. There was nothing about this song that sounded awkward or felt awkward. Everything felt good and sounded good, especially that 5-4 chorus time signature change, which I did not see coming. And to be perfectly honest with you, I missed it the first time, which is a big kudos because usually when time signature changes happen, I pick up on them like right away especially if they're awkward now if it's smooth and it doesn't sound awkward at all i i miss it sometimes and in this case on the first chorus i missed it i will freely admit what that says is that time signature change was smooth as glass and that was awesome good for them that it didn't sound awkward at all it didn't sound weird at all it sounded perfectly fine um from an instrument to from an instrumentation standpoint, everything sounded just fine. Drumming was solid. Uh, no issues with the drumming whatsoever. Um, it sounded really good, actually. It sounded really solid. Uh, Jeff locked in with him on the bass. Locked in with the drummer. Very good. Uh, laid back in the pocket. But it still had the drive. You know, it, it still had on top of the beat drive. So that was really cool. Uh, guitar sounded really good. Eddie Vedder's vocals on this, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, when, I, when the song first started, I was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But then as the song progressed, I was like, oh, oh, it makes sense. What he was doing, he was I think he was intentionally singing a little bit dirty, a little bit off. And I think he was doing that on purpose to fit the mood and the tone of the song. The song had that type of punk feel. So, not like... I'm not talking like, you know, X or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not talking like, you know, uh, like early Black Flag or anything like that, but like maybe later Black Flag going post Henry Rollins. It had that kind of a feel to it. So I, I think what he was doing vocally sounded good. Um, overall, the song was really good. It, it was really good. It, it, it took me about a minute to warm up to it. And I think that was mostly because of Eddie Vedder's vocals. But once I got the feel of it and I got the hang of it, it, it felt good. It, it, it all sounded right. It all made sense. So it is a really good song. It is going to get the real good score of 7.6. And I, I feel good about that. If you're not sure what that 7.6 means, take a look down below in the video description you'll find my scoring chart 7.0 to 7.9 is the grading scale 
four, really good. This is a 7.6, it's a little over halfway. So it's up there. It's not a bad score at all. Um, I enjoyed the song. I would listen to this again, sure. I mean, I I might even go as far as to say I would put this on the driving playlist to Vegas. My driving to Vegas playlist. I, I might put this on there just to kind of freshen things up a little bit and break up the monotony, especially with that 5-4, which was really well done. Um, yeah, overall, like I said, good song, really good song, and that's why it's getting the really good score. So, 7.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.